What's up guys, so this is going to be the first video on this channel and we're going to be talking about the recent BlizzCon announcement uh, that dealt with the classic WoW servers being said to be in production. You know, and it was a very brief announcement, but nonetheless it was an announcement, which is why, you know, the whole vanilla advocate community is uh, super excited about it. And so, you know, this took place in the typical you know, kind of setting Anaheim, California. This was on Friday, November 3rd. Uh, J. Allen Brack, the uh, production director for World of Warcraft and vice president for Blizzard, came up on stage, and this was just the opening ceremony. Basically, first thing, right, he said that he and his team were set on making these servers, these classic World of Warcraft servers, and they even had like a little preview that they put together for it, which was cool. The one thing that he said um, that I think stood out for a lot of people, because of course he didn't say much, so we, we only have so much to work with, but so this is what he said, right? He said, we want to reproduce the game experience that we all enjoyed from the original classic WoW without the launch experience. And so, you know, of course we're only left to speculate as to what this means. And uh, regardless of what it means, I'm just so <laughs> I'm just so happy that this is a thing, man, that, that these servers are coming out and they're a, officially going to be out there so we won't have to worry about uh you know server ddoses takedowns whatever i suppose it's still possible with um blizzard servers but man <laughs> improbable is is uh, i think the best word to describe that so um based on that quote though you know since they're not technically trying to recreate the launch experience i assume that server capacity is going to be heightened tremendously so I can't remember how many players were capable of being on one server at one time concurrently, uh, in vanilla anyways. However, I know that it wasn't a lot, you know, and I think that the servers that Blizzard holds currently uh, can definitely deal with the player traffic on a much more reasonable basis. Because after all, during launch of uh, World of Warcraft Vanilla back in, I think, 2004, they were not prepared for the amount of players that came in, right? So there were crashes, like, nonstop for months. And they even had to discontinue distribution of the game just because of, of, of all the traffic. Now, having said that, let's talk about the WoW Vanilla servers that will eventually come about, right? So one thing I think that I am curious about is whether or not spawn times for mobs is going to be changed. See, I don't really know how much they're going to mess with, because he said he doesn't want to recreate the launch experience, and I think <laughs> what, of course, he meant by that was, like, the detrimental aspects, meaning, like, you know, servers crashing and stuff, so certainly latency issues will probably be dealt with, which I'm okay with, which, you know, whatever. That's, of course, it's reasonable. Server capacity will go up undoubtedly. Um, spawn times for mobs, though, I'm not so sure. Uh, there's going to be a hell of a lot of players during launch and beyond, really. So for any character in the starter zones, it's it's going to be a madhouse. And, and based on that reasoning, I, I think that maybe they'll mess around with the spawn times for mobs. But frankly, you know, I, I personally hope they don't, because that's just part of the vanilla experience. And so long as the servers don't crash, then it's just something we're going to have to deal with. You literally just have to camp a spot until like a level 2 wolf spawns in the human starting area just to get like the wolf meat or whatever for that one quest. Anyways, that's just a weird example. Ultimately, guys, the big question is how much will be changed. However, you know, regardless of what the answer to that is, I'm just super excited. <laughs> I mean, of course... The answer to that question is is important to some extent, of course, because, you know, a lot of us just want to have the original experience, I'm sure minus all the lag issues and stuff, but um, as far as like the substantive content, like being able to uh, experience world, world PvP, dealing with the fact that when you're leveling you gotta be kinda strategic about how you approach mobs, uh, because it's very easy to die during the experience particularly if you choose uh, the wrong or right class. And of course, I do want to make a video on the kinds of classes you might want to choose. I'm personally really adamant about starting a, a healing character, so I, uh, I've been kind of messing around with the different possibilities. And at first I was kind of set on priest, but now I'm not so sure. And I'll get into that in a later video. Anyways, without going 
too far off topic. I suppose I should just end it here. I'm really excited, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations for what you want me to improve upon for this uh, type of video, for this kind of commentary. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, bye-bye.